it's the ultimate challenge. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a, there's always excuses and you know, it's, there's always a reason not to do things and it forces you to create something and you do it in such a short amount of time and I think it's, it's such a cool feeling. Like this actually like gives, a, like gives us an opportunity to actually like make something creative. Mm. It's sounded fun. Yeah, it's just a fun thing to do, get a bunch of friends together and it's, it's like, it's just a good excuse to make a movie and it's kind of nice that it starts and finishes all within a weekend. This it's, is amazing. <laughs> we haven't slept in a long time. 28, 29 Something like that. hours. I think we all went to bed around 4 a.m. Got up at 7.30 and we've been here. We've sort of paired together a bunch of people who come from an improv background with people who come from the crew side of the industry who work like in film sets and stuff. So the crew people are just so on what they're doing that the whole thing's, I think we're ahead of schedule, which is really exciting. We did this, the, the Ronnie Gunn last year and we did a different 72 hour one not too long ago. Yeah. We've gotten in, into a little bit of a groove of how to structure these weekends and how to use our time as effectively as possible. We have everyone's availability, everyone's roles and tasks, and I think we're, uh, I think we're feeling pretty good ab about tackling this weekend. It's been really fun so far. We had a really productive night of writing last night. We got started super late um, uh, on account of me being late. Oh, we got a bit of a sweatshop going here. Mm -hmm. Just hilarious. This is our uh, inquisitive Spanish man, Schmarlos. And hey, if you want to win a chance to be a part of our studio audience and maybe get a run at the goop tank. The lack of sleep makes it hard to, to feel, to be at like at my fastest and my most efficient. So like I feel like I'm definitely slower at making the decisions than I would normally be. But otherwise I think like the fact that it's such a great team has been so good because we just get here and everyone gets along and everyone's chilling. So it doesn't feel too stressful. Take three going well so far. We got Tyler in his full suit and our I'm not, gypsy buffer. I'm not sweaty Gypsy's as fuck at all. <laughs> this shirt is a different color than when we started, which is fun. Um, as a run and gun tradition, we're going to see if I can lose five pounds by a sweat. Let's take one. Mark. Action! It's a nine page script. Yeah, it's Whoops. nine pages. But we're, so we're Got a little precious. Tierra's been crying and screaming for about five hours, so and yeah. there's three more hours to go. So it's thank God for Tierra. Sit. Oh. Well, we got a really great group of people together. We had so much fun doing Run and Gun last year, and then from there, uh, we just started meeting every week and, and making films and working on other projects. And literally, Run and Gun last year started our whole group. It yeah. has grown and grown and grown. We have so many people. It's like a one year anniversary. It, honestly, yeah, it's yeah, it's really cool. The first time we did this last year. I had I never worked with Hunter before. We were like peripheral friends, and now he's like one of my closest friends. And like everything we've worked on since that has been an absolute joy. And it was forged in the crucible of run and gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's so true. <laughs> yeah, like yes, it's kind of exhausting, and you kind of hate yourself in the end. But in the end, you get to sleep, <laughs> and you produced a film that, you know, it probably would have taken you a lot longer, there would have been a lot more procrastination. <laughs> so this just kind of gives you a chance to like, really run and gun. Get it done. Get it done. When like you tell a joke or something and like a lot of people laugh, it's like the best feeling ever. And also I love collaborating with people, so. It's like a fun excuse to make something like a five minute short. Absolutely do it, go do it. Yeah, do it. You have no idea what you're made of until you do it. Get a couple friends together and make something fun. Yeah. You'll find out one of two things. Either that you can do it, and that's surprising, or that you can't, and that's an important learning opportunity. But either way, like if you're thinking about doing it, definitely find out. Don't just like wonder forever. It's sort of like the traveling rule. Don't just wonder about Asia. Go, go see it. Even if you fail, you just, it, you lose nothing. I mean, at the very worst, you know that that didn't work that time, and you can come up with something the next time. It's fun because you get to make a movie. And at the end of it, you have a movie and you made that movie, and that's pretty cool.